So now let's go forward and turn, that's good. Backwards, forward and turn the other way, that's good. Now backwards and turn. This is where you can't feel it, but it, to me at least feels a little bit wrong. Welcome back to Arcade, I am Super Tommy, and in this video, we're gonna look at steering a top-down vehicle. Uh, this is gonna be within our Phaser 3, Matter JS, and ECS context, but the logic here will actually work even if you're not using ECS. Now, before we begin, if you enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on Phaser 3, ECS, and Matter JS. It is also the best way to support the channel. Let's talk about the steering system here. So for our steering logic in our system, we're gonna need three components, the velocity, rotation, and input components. So any entity that has those three components will be operated on by this steering system. Now let's look at the logic for this steering system. So what steering is gonna do is if you press the up key, it's gonna go forward, the up arrow key, it's gonna go forward. If you press the down arrow key, it's gonna go backwards. So it's kinda of like giving gas and then going in reverse. Now when you turn, just like in any car, uh, you don't really make any headway on turning. Like your car is not going to just turn if you if you um, turn the steering wheel. It'll only actually start turning if you're moving and turning the steering wheel. So we're going to do something similar here. What's going to happen is if you're moving forward and you're pressing the left and right um, uh, arrow keys, then your your vehicle, in this case our tank, is going to turn. And so as it moves, it's going to turn. So you can move in kind of like this direction here. You can see in this uh, picture, which is not a very good picture, but it's a picture anyway, of what a path of the tank may look like with this system. So now let's see how we can do that in code. All right, so now let's look at this steering system. So we've, I've just deleted all the, all the uh, code here um, for the logic. We're gonna just fill that in together right now. So all this boilerplate you see here is just common code that we're gonna need when creating a system. Nothing here should be too different than what we've already talked about in previous videos. So we've got our function that's gonna create our steering system, got a query, we're calling define system, and then adding the logic in that function pass to define system. And so our query takes um, any entity with the input rotation or velocity components uh, that have any entity, that any entity that has these three components. So what we're doing here is we're gonna loop over all those entities and we're doing a for of here. Now, uh, this is similar to our normal for loops, except uh, this is just syntactical sugar in JavaScript. We don't have to create our iterator, the i uh, variable. We don't have to check if it's less than some length and don't have to increment i. This does that all for us and it's gonna just put whatever the, uh, the item at that index into our const ID here. So just a shortcut, but you can also write a normal for loop if you want. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is um, know if we're moving. So we're moving if we're going forward or backward. So that means if the arrow, the up arrow or the down arrow is being pressed. So let's start by, so let's do is up and we're gonna do not not. So what not not does is it's gonna turn a truthy or falsy value to either true or false. So input dot up index into it by ID. So for example here when it starts, input up at index ID is gonna be zero. So not zero in JavaScript is true. And then not true is of course false. So zero is false, we do not not to get a falsy, to get a false value out of a false C value. We're just keeping it um, as a Boolean false instead of a false C value. If we didn't do not not, it would just be is up would be zero, which would likely still work, but we just wanna think of this in Boolean. That's how we're, that's how we're gonna use it. So let's go with is down. And the same thing we're gonna do not not dot down ID. So now we know if we're moving up or we're moving down. And in either case, we would be considered moving. So is up or is down means we're moving. So if we're moving, if is moving, we want to decide on a moving direction. Now that means uh, moving up or moving, or moving forward or moving backward. So let's just say forward is positive one and backwards is negative one. So let's just say move direction. 
So it is up. We already know that we're moving. So if we're moving up, then it's 1. Otherwise, it's minus 1. Since if we're not moving forward, then we're moving backwards. In the case where we already know that we're moving, one of the moves has to be true. And now we want to get our turning, know if we're turning or not. So that's going to be left or right. So very similar to is up and is down. So let's just do is left, not not input, dot left, id, and then is right, not not input, oops, input, dot right, id. Now let's get the angle. So left angle, rotation, angle, id. Now I think in a previous video in this series, I mentioned the angle was in radians. That's actually rotation in phasor. Phasor three rotation is in radians, and angle is in degrees. So degrees is easier to work with here. That's why we're using degrees. So what we're going to do is if you're uh, pressing the left key while you're moving, we're gonna rotate you, you know, by one degree, let's say. So if is left, we're gonna do angle, let's say minus equals one, and else, else if is right we are going to plus equals one now we're going to use this moving direction uh, here but let me just show you what it feels like without that first uh, without that first so let's sit, now that we may have modified angle let's put it back into our component rotation dot angle id angle now that we have the angle, we can get our, our facing direction. So we want to move in the direction that our vehicle is uh, facing. So we can do that with phaser by first converting our angle into radians and then creating a vector uh, from that. So let's first, let's just say, let's call this rotation uh, phaser dot map dot degrees to radians angle so that's going to be rotation and then we're going to do let's make a vector here just new phaser dot math dot vector two and then we're going to do vec dot set to polar i'm going to give it the rotation uh, radius i think one is fine what we're going to have here is a uh, vector, a directional vector, that's going to tell us which way, which, based on the the angle of, of the tank, which way we should go. So now we have this vector. We can now set the velocity. So velocity dot x index into id vec dot x times the speed. So we have speed passed in. It's two hundred by default, which is very high, but we'll leave that. Since we can also set a different value, dot y id vec dot y times speed. Now, last thing here is if nothing is happening, if no if no up or, or down keys are pressed, we want to set our velocity to zero. So stop moving. So now let's see if we did this right. Let's bring back Chrome here. And let's see, if I press up, all the keys go forward. So let's see what we did here is right, is down, down is up, is up or is down. Oh yeah, so we, we need to um, invert based on moving direction. So here it's going to be time speed times move direction. I think. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay. So forward, backwards. So now let's go forward and turn. That's good. Backwards. Forward and turn the other way. That's good. Now backwards and turn. This is where you can't feel it, but it, to me at least feels a little bit wrong. How the backwards, uh, how reverse and and uh, reverse and then turning works. So if you want to um, experiment, you can also here multiply by move direction, oops, not eight, times move direction, times move direction, and just see if maybe that feels better for you. Let's come back here. 
forward, backwards turn, forwards, backwards. I think at least this feels better, but I could be wrong. Sometimes, depending on the day, it feels right or it doesn't feel right. Who knows? So that is, though, the core logic of our steering system. So that is the steering system. So here you see it for adding logic to steer top-down vehicles. So we did it in ECS, but you can use the same logic here without ECS in uh, your Phaser 3 game. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more videos on making games with Phaser 3, whether it's Matter.js or Arcade Physics, whether it's with ECS or without.